Welcome back everyone. Today uh, we just uh, just finished up with chores, bedded everybody down, um, so everybody's got fresh bedding. It is a mess around here. As you can see in the later video clips, um, we are grabbing silage out of the bag with the loader tractor because it's too muddy to get up to the bag with the skid loader. And then we're grabbing it from the concrete and feeding, feeding everybody with the skid loader. Um, that's about it. It is, it's just muddy. Um, only thing worse than this mud is, uh, they're talking 11, 10, 11 degrees next couple day, nights and, uh, it's going to freeze and it's going to be a rough son of a gun bouncing around all these ruts. Got the first tractor in for service. Um, this is my 1086. This was my first ever tractor. Um, I absolutely love this thing and I don't know if it will ever leave this farm while I'm alive. Story on this tractor, um, I picked it up over by Rockford, Illinois. Um, been nine years ago, 2013. Um, had 48, 4,900 original hours on it. Very nice tractor. Uh, not a whole lot done to it. It's got the electronic torque, HD torque. That works really good. If you ever need to replace a torque in one of these, I'd highly recommend going with the electronic torque. And right now it's got roughly, I don't know, I'd have to look, just over 6,000 hours, 62, 6,300. Um, I'll correct myself if I'm wrong, but overall very good tractor. When I first got it, it did everything. Um, now it's pretty much just a raking tractor. I got a 14 wheel high capacity rake that uh, pretty much lives on this thing all summer long. We might throw the duels on and do some chisel plowing this spring with it, just to get it out in the field, get her working a little bit. Um, I believe it was two years ago, went through and replaced every single part on the AC system, um, everything. And it was updated obviously to 134 at that time. And then uh, put an air ride seat in it and that doubled the quality of ride with this tractor. Um, the AC in the seat, it just it makes it enjoyable running this thing. I just uh, had to take this side of the hood off and check the air filter number. I guess there's a split in uh, these air filters and I didn't have it written down, so. Otherwise, like I said, pretty clean tractor. Um, haven't got my parts yet. Still waiting, hopefully tomorrow. Um, I just need to get these filter numbers for these, for the dealer. And we will go from there. It's been raining all day. Got about an inch of rain. And they're talking one to three inches of snow tonight. Welcome to Minnesota.
just going to wrap this video up. Um, we got some of our parts in. Uh, we got two bulk oil containers and three boxes of parts. And what hay preservative we could get. It's like if you spend a couple thousand bucks, you get two free calendars. What a great deal, huh? Um, we're going to uh, get to servicing the tractors and uh, get ready for spring. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow along for more. And we will talk at you later. Have a good week, everyone.